Introduction to Our Earth Belongs to Us The True Story of Mankind's Future Imagine A few days ago, I received a note through my door to tell me a date and time that my electricity was going to be cut off to make some major repairs for three hours in our neighbourhood it was a time in the morning when I needed electricity. I couldn't boil a kettle to make my morning coffee or have my breakfast or even work on my laptop. It was only three hours, but I began to wonder what it's going to be like for all of the children born in this next generation when many of these rapidly dwindling Earth's resources will run out like crude oil and coal that currently generates energy for most of our electricity, including fuel for our cars, tractors for agriculture, aeroplanes, heating, lighting and all of our plastic manufactured goods, etc. What happens when it all runs out? You may say that solar or wind power is the answer but to manufacture these new sources of electricity takes huge amounts of coal and crude oil to manufacture these new renewable energies. Not to mention the huge amounts of greenhouse gases that enter into our Earth's atmospheric ozone through the manufacturing process of solar and wind power. That is why all depletion of our world's Earth's resources all global warming and climate change issues, all deforestation and destruction of our forests and rainforests, all plastic pollution, all intensive factory farming, intensive pesticide agricultural farming that is leading to agricultural soil erosion and death to our world's bee populations and many other earth and nature related suffering is all human induced. And these are just a very few examples. The rest you will find in a very long list at the end of section one. And how we are now waging war on our fragile planet Earth. And how this is now leading us all to our own human downfall. But why is it too late? Why can't we stop the complete destruction of our Earth? We cannot, because currently most of us humans are also going through huge amounts of suffering, all created through all of our individual and different emotional struggles and fighting to survive as a human, that develops all of our individual and different I am ego, fear or hurt, emotional wounds and suffering. That is why we cannot stop this emotional suffering because emotional suffering remains in our long-term memory, the main memory that all of us humans function with throughout our entire lives since birth. And that is why it is urgently important for us all now to begin to teach the science and practical solutions for all children born today, how they can dominantly develop some brand new we are altruistic emotional behavioural patterns that will focus all of their attention on emotions of unconditional love, loving kindness and compassion, empathy and generosity of their human spirit towards themselves, so that all children born today will begin to develop mental wellness, blissful happiness, peace and healing within themselves, so that all children born today will also begin to live through the emotions and behaviours of the collective consciousness, and all begin to live a collective life, to take care of each other and take collective voluntary action to take care and protect all that is vulnerable that belongs to all Earth's nature, before it's too late. 
Imagine now if all 8 billion plus people began to develop the we are altruistic emotions and behaviours of the collective consciousness. This is when there would be no more suffering on our fragile planet Earth ever again. And that is why this book has been written in two halves. The first half, section one, will teach you the science and reasons why and how we have all developed, including myself, all of our individual and different I am ego emotional wounds and suffering. And what are the reasons for this emotional suffering? And in the second half of this book, section two, we are then going to discuss the science and practical solutions for all children born today to live a brand new collective life filled with blissful happiness, peace and healing within themselves so that all children born today can begin to live a life that will feel like paradise here on earth. Not to mention that these altruistic we are emotions and behaviours of the collective consciousness could one day also lead a few very special individuals to experience some of the greatest gifts and miracles that all of mankind has tried to find for thousands of years. But it's very important to recognise that this is a very big book that will require a great deal of courage in order for you to get to know yourself as a human. And that is why all of the chapters throughout this book are all interconnected with all other chapters. That is why none of this book can possibly be understood without reading or listening to all 13 chapters.